palette knife painting is a little different from china painting itself. We're used to, as porcelain artists, um, doing a lot of detail work, very close up. This is an exercise in freedom. Um, it's best to use landscapes or things with edges, soft edges, hard edges, angles, and a lot of color. I mix my paints very dry, uh, almost to the consistency of toothpaste, maybe a little bit drier. I use a curved palette knife. In this case, it's a plastic palette knife. I do a combination of brushwork and palette knife because the sky is smoother, so I use a brush there. The water's a smooth surface, so I use a brush there. And in the other cases, um, the trees give it the texture, the bridge gives it the texture, so you get the contrast that you'd like. So you can use porcelain tiles such as this one or a ceramic tile from any supply, home supply store such as Lowe's or Office Depot. Uh, these have texture. Some have a marble look and you can use the marble streaks to your advantage for trees, for reflections in the water, etc. So um, I usually tape off with a painter's tape. It's easily removed. So I clean the tile always with alcohol, never soap and water. They're very porous on the back side. They will absorb the water and it damages during firing. So I take the painter's tape, put it across to make my mat for the frame, seal the edge very well, make a tab so you can pull it quickly. And in this case, I'm taking another striping tape and making just a little bit more interest on the mat. So we'll put this across also. So when you paint your piece, you want to bring all your paint to the edge of the tape and past the edge so that when you pull your tape, you have a nice straight edge that's all painted. So I begin with the sky, and since the sky is smooth, I use a brush for that. I like to have lots of space on my palette so I can work with different colors and mix different colors because I use a very limited palette. So again, I go straight off the edge onto the tape. So when you're painting the sky, it's darker at the top, lighter as it comes down to the horizon, and it's just, as, just opposite for the water. So it's okay if the paint skips a little, because we're going to wipe the clouds out. So the little area in the middle, I'm going to skip a little bit and put some sunshine in. Because if you've got a blue sky, you want sunshine to go along with that. I paint with mineral oil. Um, you can use light mineral oil, heavy mineral oil, it does not matter. I use terpenoid as a solvent because it doesn't create fumes, so it keeps me a little healthier. So put in a little sunshine, and it's a yellow mixed with a touch of green. 
So I've sketched my bridge off just for placement, nothing detailed. And the first thing I do is put a, find the center of my tile and draw a line to make sure that I don't put anything, any line dead center. Okay, so next I'll put in um, a little bit of the water where the blue sky reflects down. So that's pretty much the brushwork. Then I begin the fun part with the palette knife. So I scoop up the paint and I'll begin with the bridge. So I scoop up the brown, which in China paint we never do with a brush. And I start to lay in and I rock the palette knife back and forth. So we want to be sure we get our line to the top first. And if I want it to appear that the bridge is made of rock, then I start to add some grays in and use different earth tones. So once you get the bridge laid in, then you can start with the trees. So I use three different shades of green and a light value, medium, and dark. So I start with the middle value and since the, since the ceramic tile has a softer glaze, you can just really pile the paint on. You fire it flat to about 017 and that seems to open up the glaze long enough for everything to absorb without it popping off. So you think about the shape of your foliage and you make your palette knife work for you to create the trees, the, the limbs, the foliage. And along the water line. Next, we'll do a darker green to create a little depth. And then finally, a little yellow green to create a little new foliage. So you use your imagination and you 
may want to put a few blossoms in. So we'll go into the pink, which is a ruby, and make a few blossoms. Okay, so now we'll add a little to the background. So I'll take a, a little bit of the green. So since we're creating distance, this will be a little more misty back here. So there, therefore I'll use a brush. Okay, now we'll begin with the water. So I can touch the edge of the bridge and create the reflection of the bridge in the water. Make sure we've got all these edges covered. We don't want any surprises and have to patch anything when we pull the tape off. So now the finishing up touches. We want reflection in our water. We want some smooth texture. So we'll just remove a little if we have to. Because it's hard to control the palette knife painting, sometimes you have to remove areas. And there will be a reflection of the bridge. Okay. 
Where is my recaps? Okay, break. Wipeout tools gone walkabout. It was right here.